In 2023, Apple introduced spatial computing to the world through the launch of Vision Pro. The idea itself, however, isn't entirely new. Back in 2003, a master's thesis at MIT defined it for the first time. The thesis described a world in which machines perceive and interact with physical objects and spaces, enabling humans and computers to operate within the same environment. Today, this once overlooked concept has taken the spotlight. Let's look closer at the definition of spatial computing. At its core, spatial computing allows machines to recognize and interact with real-world objects and spaces. Put simply, it needs to understand the physical environment and then layer digital information on top of it. For example, think of a car that detects other vehicles and roads, displaying driving information directly within the driver's field of view. Next, interaction between humans and machines take place. We engage with this digital layer through various devices, using gestures, eye movements, or voice commands. Until now, digital worlds were confined within flat displays, like computer monitors or smartphone screens. Spatial computing blends digital content with the physical world, turning the environment itself into a computer. So what happens when space itself becomes a computer? Imagine this. Here's a desk in my room. Now I'm going to place a virtual lamp on it when I'm still deciding whether to buy. See how naturally the lamp sits on the desk? But then I decide to move the desk to a different spot and the lamp moves right along with it. That's because spatial computing recognizes the structure of the room and the desk as a physical object and overlays digital content, like the lamp, onto it. When the object moves, the virtual data attached to it moves too. To make this seamless integration between physical and digital worlds possible, we need technologies from many different fields. To place digital content naturally in real-world environments, systems must accurately measure and recognize space. This is where sensors such as cameras and LiDAR come in. These sensors collect spatial data, which the computer then processes to reconstruct a 3D model of the environment. Various sensors also track human behavior, detecting where we look, how we move our hands, and what gestures we make. Because people and objects constantly move in 3D space, accurate position tracking is just as essential as sensing. The data collected from our surroundings are analyzed by the computer, similar to how our brains process visual information. This is called computer vision. To store and retrieve large amounts of these data quickly, we also rely on edge computing and cloud computing. Together, these technologies enable people and machines to perceive, understand, and interact within the same physical space. That's how we're able to experience digital information so vividly and immersively. Back in 2003, spatial computing was just a term printed on paper. Today, it's breaking out of the screen and becoming part of our everyday space.